so I did my presentation on Kurodo Seki. Um, he was an artist. So who is Kurodo Seki? Well, his most famous painting uh, is Lakeside, which I show later. And his um, some of his known one of his known names is the father of modern Japanese and Western style painting. As a newborn child, he was adopted by his father's older brother. And then he ended up traveling as a baby with his mother to her estate in Tokyo, where he studied for university. He studied the English language as a part of his preparation for university, but he switched to French because he ended up going to Paris. Kurodo ended up leaving the study of law, which is why he went to university, and to become a painter. Um, he studied under many painters and artists and ended up becoming one of the great painters of the style plain art plain air painting. So his style is what I just said, plain art plain air painting. Um plain air painting is about leaving the four walls of your studio behind and somehow experiencing painting and drawing in the landscape rather than just thinking of it. Um, the practice goes back centuries, um, but was actually made into an art form by the French imperialists, which is why he went to France, or learned French. Their desire to paint light and its changing um, created the transportable paint tubes and the box easel, which allowed the freedom to paint, which en plein air, which is the French expression for in the open air. The sketches allowed painters to improve the overall design of a painting and quickly capture colors and notes in the landscape. But sometimes they use photographs, which help the design of the painting. And when they're back in their studio, it util they, use they utilize the photographs to capture the details. While painting in plain air, you will encounter several different light, like sunlight, overcast, some window light, maybe candlelight, and also electric light. And you have to study these distinctive qualities to understand and paint them convincingly. So this is who influenced them. Um, Kume arrived in Paris at the same time as Kurodo and entered Colin's studio um, at the same time. Kume had first studied drawing under Fuji and ended up following him to Paris. Kuro and Kume were the same age, and they pushed each other to create better paintings and became close friends. Um, and over their lifetime, they remained very close friends. Um, Yahamoto was one of the men who urged Kuroda to become a painter and to go to painting school, his painting school, along with Kume, who also returned to Japan at the same time. Um, then he gave them his school, um, and they renamed it the Tenshin Jojo, and they became their directors. At a gathering in Japan, um, Sek um, Kuroda met the painters Yahamoto, Fuji, and Yashi. Um, they strongly urged Shiki, or they strongly urged Kuroda to become a painter. Um, Kuroda's main teacher was Raphael Colon, who has been almost totally forgotten today because his name only appears in the slightest mention, even though we've reconsidered 19th century art. At the time of Kuroro's entrance into the Collins studio, however, a number of Collins artworks has been accepted by the salon, so he was a great mentor. Uh, this picture up in the corner is called Reading, uh, made in 1891. And during his stay in Europe, Kuroro visited and fell in love with this little village. Um, while he was there, he met Maria. She served as a model for his works and would come to show his time in France. Uh, Kuroro's natural artistic talent was recognized by the French art world with this painting, so it was one of his first. Um, how does Kuroro Shiki influence others? Well, a few, few artists have influenced Japanese art as much as Kuroro has. As a painter, he was among the first to introduce Western-style paintings to a broad Japanese audience. As a teacher, he taught many young artists the lessons that he himself had learned in Paris. Among his students were Wada Isuku, um, 
there were also um, many of his students who were to become among the most popular and talented Japanese painters of their generation, which is what Wada did. Many students also followed Kuroto in choosing to study in Paris, leading to a greater awareness of the broadness of Western trends. Um, one of these artists was Asai Chu. This painting down in the corner is called Chrysanthemums and European Ladies, made in 1892. And you can really see that it was probably through a window or you could tell where the light was because it's shining down on one side of the flowers and the side of her face. And the other sides um, are dark and show the shadows. So he was really using the light in this photo. Now, this is my last slide. And it shows two of his famous photos. His most famous, which is Lakeside, which has this woman sitting probably on a boat, um, like rowing across the lake. And she's looking away from him. And you can see how being outside and probably about midday, um, the light captures all the sides and everywhere she is. And to capture the look of the water is another thing and the light reflecting off the water. Um, another one of his paintings is Maki Yogoro in 1893. And um, this painting is of two ladies and she's sitting near a windowsill. And there's a lake behind her, and this really shows the light coming in on the back and the side of her. Because on the side, you can see the light and how it's shining on her face. And then you can also see um, the very the darker shadows on the other side of her face. Um, and on the other woman standing in the picture. And the lake in the back, you can see the reflection of the sun in the way back, and it gets darker as it comes forward.